This is Total Telecom TV with Ivan Tang of CITIC. Ivan, tell me about the CITIC group and CITIC Telecom and how they differ. Tell me about the structure. Thank you, Brian. Um, CITIC Telecom CPC is the wholly owned subsidiary of CITIC Telecom International Holdings, which is a listed company in Hong Kong, and the stock book is uh, 1883. If you are interested, you can take a look, right? So um, I would say uh, CITIC Telecom CPC is the ICT services arm of CITIC Telecom Group. And we are focusing on the Asia market and serving the uh, enterprise customers. Uh, in the last 15 years, we have been transforming ourselves from a Hong Kong-based ISP services provider to nowadays a regional ICT services providers. Yes, yeah, so what's the range of services that, that you offer? And also the geographies, because I think you, you are quite regional now. Oh, yeah, thank you. Um, well, uh, in summarize, right, we have four uh, pillar group services group. The first one is our bread and butter. We started it with um, we started with it uh, 15 years ago, and it is our True Connect MPRS VPN networks. Uh, pleasantly, we have over 100 uh, pops uh, uh, presence in Asia Pacific, with almost 70 percent of them are in mainland China. Right. Of course, we have some extent. Uh, we have some network coverage to like North America and uh, Europe. Right. And also in the last years, the last one or two years, we expand rapidly to the ASEAN countries and using uh, Singapore offices as our regional hubs to expand our business. Right? And the other business that we introduced in 2006 is our information security services. Why we introduced these services is because the network services that we provided, we started provided in 2001, is pretty mature. And a lot of our customers are asking for more secured network access. So that's why we started to int introduce to them and help them on this information security side. And then the uh, next two are the very important services that we uh, lately introduced. Uh, one is the cloud computing. We started in 2000, uh, 2011. Right? Uh, at this point of time, we have uh, eight cloud centers in this part of the world. And with half of them are in China. Right. And the other part, and the, the latest initiative that we got is, uh, we call it the brand name is um, Data House, which is our cloud IDC. So we built our own cloud IDC in China this year, right? This is our first cloud IDC that we built. I see. And what's the strategy with cloud going forward? Uh, cloud is a very important uh, topic for most enterprises because uh, uh, Business expansion can be helped to implement quickly with the cloud infrastructures. For us, um, in order to help our customers, right now I have mentioned that we have eight uh, cloud uh, centers. Uh, in coming years, we are going to expand the coverage um, uh, to uh, Asia and also to uh, China. What I anticipated that is uh, the number of cloud IDC, uh, sorry, the number of cloud centers that we are going to have should be doubled in coming two to three years. Right. The other one is, of course, the, uh, cloud ID, uh, the cloud data center that I mentioned. Because cloud data center is a very important facilities that helped us and also the enterprise to house their cloud equipment. Right. So this is one of the important initiatives that we are going to have um, for coming years. Just talking about the future, you know, where do you see the company in the next, say, three to five years? You've made ma massive progress already. Oh, thank you, Brian. Um, we are, we are Yes, we have some progress, but we are looking forward to have more aggressive progress, right? Uh, I would summarize it into two aspects. One is the geographic expansions. Um, we have customers that uh, uh, need us to support them in like America and Europe. So uh, in coming years, we are going to expand further our network coverage to those uh, two continents, right? Whereas in China, we won't forget China, right? Right now, we have over 70% of our pops are in China. So in coming three to five years, we are going to uh, add, I would say at least uh, we would double, uh, we have, have double digit growth of the number of pops in coming few years, right? The other part is the ASEAN countries, right? Because we have been uh, putting a lot of resources to our Singapore office, and we will use Singapore, offices, Singapore office as our gateway, right, to expand our services to ASEAN countries further. Right. And the other um, services that we are going to expand, uh, as I said, is our cloud um, centers. Right. Uh, right now we have eight. I do believe that in three to five years' time, we are going to at least double the number of cloud centers. Right. Because, as I said, we are going to expand aggressively into China again and also in the ASEAN countries. Right. The uh, last but not the least important initi initiative is the, uh, the data house, that is our cloud IDC. Right, so we have the first one in China this year, and I, I anticipate that we will have a similar setup in um, 
like uh, Western China, Northern China, and Southern China. And also, we might have two to three at least in Asian countries too. Sounds like it's going to be an exciting time. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you, Brian.